The Genesis Communications Network is sponsored by the U.S. Money Reserve, your exclusive source for gold and silver precious metals. Visit them online at usmoneyreserve.com. Every American should know. If you want to hang on to your job, you get out there and do it. This is America. It's freedom. I'm a patriot. To turn us to an America that we can be proud of. My name is America. I stand proud. Radio program right here on the King's Broadcasting Network with the Professor of Theology and Doctor of Common Sense. Broadcasting live all across this country, this is Home Talk USA, right here on the Home Improvement Broadcasting Network and the World Wide Web. Air King, one of the manufacturers of indoor air quality technology, ventilation systems, and range hoods, and the 2012 13 Energy Star Partner of the Year for Protecting the Environment, proudly presents America's favorite home improvement expert, the Cajun contractor, Michael King. You're invited to call the program with any question or comment concerning home improvement, new construction, renovations, home repair, or anything else pertaining to the home. And now, as we begin this hour of Home Talk, the man from the Bayou Land and the host of the show, the Cajun contractor, Michael King. Yay! That's right, I'm the originator. Not to duplicate a please... Don't accept no substitutions. Man, I was green before green was even cool. Welcome, everyone, as we enter another hour of education and information. That's right, class is in session. And we're going to talk about some great topics, the topics that you want to know about. So we should hope you uh, stay with us for this hour. Don't forget, I am streaming live on the World Wide Web at HomeTalkUSA.com. Uh, check out our website at HomeTalkUSA.com if you want to watch and listen to either our radio show on demand or you can watch our television show. That's right, we have this week's episode there. And we also have an archive that uh, if you want to catch, uh, well, we got, I think we have 33 uh, archive uh, TV episodes there you can watch. And uh, just think, for the first time, you can actually see what we're talking about. So we do invite you. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. All right, let's start the hour. Uh, my next guest, as we begin the hour, his name is Jonathan Arpin. He is with a company called New Energy Works, um, also Pioneer Mill Works. They have been in the timber framing design bill industry for a while now. They also um, in recyclable wood company. So I thought it would be great to talk uh, about timber framing, recycle, reclaim framing um, as we, um, you know, the building market picks up and uh, gives us uh, uh, some alternatives. I understand um, that Mr. Uh, Jonathan Arpin is on the line right now. Uh, hey, Jonathan, how you doing, my friend? Good, Michael. How about yourself? Well, it's kind of, you know, um, I, I was reading your bio, and, uh, man, um, your family roots are all over New Orleans, and your mother was born in Metairie. You know, uh, you know I said Metairie, not Metairie. <laughs> and uh, and understand uh, you guys are uh, raised around the French Quarter, and, uh, and uh, you, your father went to Tulane, huh? Yeah, sadly, I was not raised in the French Quarter. My mother and my father were, and then they moved to California and gypped me out of a good French Quarter raising. But I will tell you, we go back often, and like I mentioned uh, to you, my daughters are fourth generation in my family to eat oysters at Acme's Oyster. <laughs> oh, my God. I tell you, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's just a so, – and I tell my audience, if you've never made it to New Orleans, I tell you, it's, a, it's, it, it's, a, it's America's greatest city. I mean, it's just food, culture, music, history. It has it all. I mean, uh, and, including uh, the architecture, which including yeah. the architecture, Michael, which I'm fascinated with every time I get down there, and which is never enough. Yeah, it's uh, you go down to the uh, you know out in the warehouse district and uh, go down to up, uptown. Uh, yeah, it's the architecture. Well, you know, the city is 1620, 1630. You know, and uh, you know you have French, you have Spanish architecture, you have. Uh, you know, it's just uh, English. So it, it, it's a combination of all the, the brilliant architects of the world uh, over the years coming to New Orleans and uh, 
and, and, and frame in the city. Well, let's talk about you guys. Um, I'm pretty impressed with what I'm seeing. Uh, I know you guys have never been on the show before. I mean, after 1,098 episodes, it's taken you to get here. Why so long, uh, Jonathan? Why so long it took you to get on my show? What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. You're going to have to look in the mirror for that one, Mike. Uh, I've been around longer than I can remember. So we've been building timber frames since 1986 and uh, reclaiming wood since 1989. Wow. So we've been busy for a long time. Maybe that's just it. Maybe we've been too busy to get on your show. <laughs> well, let me ask you this now. What exactly is timber framing, and why why do you love it so so much? So great question. You know, timber framing is is the uh, craft and the art of building t- buildings with heavy timbers, posts, and beams. Posts are the vertical members, beams are the horizontal members, usually and traditionally joined with wood joinery, like a mortise and a tenon. Uh, a tenon fits inside a mortise, is uh, carved out with chisels, or these days more modern equipment like CNC-controlled, uh, computer numeric-controlled timber cutting lines. We do it all either by hand or with these more modern equipment, and it's a wood-to-wood joinery where you put this tenon inside a mortise and you put a peg in the hole and uh, hold it there with the good old-fashioned pegs, generally. Although, we also have some metal at times, depending upon the structural needs. So, really, it's a great craft uh, that you look at, you see uh, right inside the home or the structure, that is not only the structure, but it's also, you know, the fine woodworking of it all. I like to say that it's uh, sort of like uh, building furniture to live in, you could say, Michael. Wow. Now, if you uh, think about a barn, yeah. if you think about an old barn, you know, in a lot of ways that is what I do, except more modern than that and more contemporary than that. So, uh, but that's a lot what it is. Uh, barns and barns for the new age. Well, I'm going to invite my audience to go to your website at newenergyworks.com so they can actually see what we're talking about. You got some beautiful pictures. I'm, I'm on your website right now. It's uh, it's scrolling different structures and uh, it's amazing what you guys can do. But again, uh, how is it any energy efficient though? Yeah, so New Energy Works, the name of my company, started out in the early 80s because we were very interested in energy efficiency, both for the heating and the cooling modes of a home. And I was looking for ways to build a better, uh, warmer, or cooler home. And what we found was that um, by wrapping the outside of the frame in a continuous insulation, uh, we are able to have all of the structural members inside. It's like throwing a blanket on the outside of a piece of furniture that, if that furniture is a chair, for instance, you can, um, you can picture it all cozy inside of a blanket. So we're wrapping the outside of the frame with continuous insulation. Normally when people build, they're building with two by six walls, for instance, and that two by six itself often extends, reaches from the inside to the outside, so you're going to wick for warmth or cold as you go. And so with timber framing, we break that thermal bridge with an in- continuous insulation on the outside of the frame. Does that make sense, Michael? Yes, it does, my friend. The way you the way you explain it, it does. I got to tell you. But uh, hey, now now are there lots of timber framers like you in America, though? You know, we represent a small niche in the building. There's no doubt about it. Um, and I'm going to say there's there's probably a few thousand of us. Okay. Uh, maybe 250 companies or so that do this work. It's just a drop in a bucket compared to regular conventional yeah. stick framing. Stick yeah. built construction. Right, ho- hold on that but thought, right there. Jonathan, we okay, got to take sure. a short break. Ho- hold on thought, right there. I hate okay. to interrupt you, but got to pay some bills here. Uh, we got to take a short break. We got to step away up against the clock. Got a hard break. Stay with us right here on the Home Improvement Broadcast. The network. I'm streaming live on the World Wide Web. Always support your local independent hardware stores and garden centers, and let's pledge to hire a vet today. I'm the Cajun Man. Please stay with us. Y'all come back now, you hear? 
Are you looking for one product that will control your insect problems on your house plants, around the outside of your house, on your lawn, in your flower beds or vegetable garden? Bonide has the answer. That's right. You heard it right here on Home Talk USA. Bonide does have the answer. Bonide's 8 Insect Control controls most common home, lawn, and garden insect problems. 8 is effective against more than 100 insects that destroy trees, shrubs, lawns, flowers, vegetables, and fruit. Use 8 to eliminate ticks, fleas, ants, and other home-invading pests. It can even be used indoors on houseplants. 8 kills on contact and repels insects for up to 30 days. 8 is available in dust, concentrate, and in convenient, ready-to-use, and ready-to-spray formulations with built-in applicators. Find Bonide 8 Insect Control at Bonide.com. That's B-O-N-I-D-E dot com to locate a retailer near you. Are your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. Ted Anderson telling you about Jordan Rubin's Beyond Organic Green-Fed Raw Cheddar Artesian Cheese featuring whole milk created through ancient dairy breeding, unpasteurized, untreated whole milk on the same farm the cows graze, containing natural sources of omega-3s, CLA protein, calcium, probiotics, and enzymes. I have never tasted cheese this good, and you need to try it. Contact your Longevity distributor or call 877-878-4203 or go to GCNteam.com. You haven't experienced yogurt until you've tried a mossy, embodying health and flavor in a true whole milk, green-fed dairy beverage. Every sip pays homage to our old world cows and the ancient culturing methods their milk benefits from. With over 30 probiotics, a mossy's undeniably nutritious, refined, cultured sensation bolsters your health and awakens your passion for dairy. A mossy's so good, and you need to try it. Contact your Longevity distributor or call 877-878-4203 or go to GCNteam.com. My dad was 59 when he collapsed from a heart attack late last year. Just this past August was when we spread his ashes on the St. Croix River. I loved my dad, but boy was he stubborn. He hadn't been to the doctor in over 25 years. His excuse? He simply couldn't afford it. He wasn't a rich man by any means. At less than $107 per month, LibertyOnCall.org would have been the perfect alternative for my father. Don't wait. Go to LibertyOnCall.org right now for not just your sake, but for the sake of your loved ones. Again, that's LibertyOnCall.org. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Seventy-five years ago, America suffered one of the worst moments in American history, the attack on Pearl Harbor. Now you can remember December 7th, 1941, with the purchase of the first ever 75th anniversary Pearl Harbor legal tender solid gold coin from the U.S. Money Reserve. Call 1-800-490-3200 right now for the official 75th anniversary Pearl Harbor Legal Tender Gold Coin from the U.S. Money Reserve, the only company authorized to distribute these 100% solid gold coins. Remember Pearl Harbor with this limited official gold release, 1-800-490-3200 or online at usmoneyreserve.com. You're listening to Home Talk USA on the Genesis Communications Radio Network. The Home Improvement Broadcasting Network wants to congratulate this year's recipient of the National Radio Media Association Radio Talk Show Host of the Year, our very own, the host of Home Talk USA, the Cajun contractor, Michael King. Welcome. 
Welcome back to Home Talk USA with home improvement expert, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, on the Home Improvement Broadcasting Network. If you have a question or comment concerning home improvement repairs, new construction, or renovations, the Cajun contractor will get you the answers. And now, back to Home Talk USA with the Cajun contractor, Michael King. Hey! Don't forget you can follow us on all your social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter. The keyword is always what? Home Talk USA. All right, we're talking to uh, Jonathan Arpin. He is the founder president of New Energy Works, uh, Timber Framers, and that's what we're discussing, Timber Framing. And uh, just for the break, though, uh, Jonathan, we were talking a little bit about how realistically uh, timber framing is energy efficient and uh, uh, you said there's about 200, 250 companies and maybe 2,000 timber framers uh, like you all across America, which is basically, again, you said it, uh, dropping a bucket compared to stick uh, framing built construction companies. But is it more expensive than regular stick building construction, though? Yeah, it sure is. It's about 20% more, uh, without a doubt. I mean, it's a highly crafted product and one that, uh, again, is going to be more energy efficient. So between that higher craft and that energy efficiency, it is going to be more expensive than a similar uh, well-built stick home. But I did want to go back to one comment, Michael, and that is that your listeners uh, could go on to the Timber Framers Guild website if they wanted to find timber framers in their area or learn more about timber framing or even join the guild. The guild is really the group that has helped bring the timber framing uh, renaissance or uh, a revival that happened uh, almost 30 years ago and uh, of which is still going strong. So that's tfguild.org, the Timber Framers Guild website. I did want to throw that in there. It's a good group, a nonprofit uh, uh, group that represents timber framers. Oh, wow. Now, why do you like reclaim wood, though? So I, I like to say I started Pioneer Millworks to support my timber framing habit. Uh, I was really looking for a very stable wood um, to use for the big timber work we do. You know, it's true we use a lot of fresh drawn wood, but – but in a perfect world, we'd use wood that was sitting around a long time acclimating or drying. And what better way to let it sit around than in a building? So we love the fact that it was a stable wood. We also really love the fact that it had a story to tell. You know, so many of us appreciate uh, a sense of history, uh, the reality that we are part of a continuum, and wood that has a story to tell that came from some other building and that after we're long gone might be recycled again for yet another building. I think it just grounds us more, don't you think? Uh, I, I 100% agree with you, my friend. Now, And so the I third said- reason we like it, of course, is because it's super environmental. Um, it there, while wood is a greatly environmentally sound material to build with, reclaimed wood is yet one step even beyond that. We're stinging, uh trees, and we're also saving that wood from going into a landfill. So, gosh, it's a win-win-win situation when you use salvage wood. We just love the story that it tells. Well, you're right, my friend, because um, a lot of the impressions, the wood itself, the uh, I mean, you're right, yeah. Now, how much it's a sign, have... signs of pre, signs of previous life? You know, you see the nail holes and you think, "Oh my gosh, somebody was here before me." <laughs> yeah. Now, how much wood has Pioneer Millworks reclaimed, though? Well, you're not going to believe this, but uh, to the best of our knowledge, we've just passed 25 million board feet. Whoa! So if you think about it, that's like taking about 2,000 flatbed full-length flatbed, 52-foot flatbed trucks and putting them nose-to-nose, which will get you quite a ways out towards Baton Rouge, wow. my friend. <laughs> that's amazing. Now, what is it Yeah, that's from? a lot of wood. What does it uh, come from, You know, from, it comes Jonathan? from a lot of places. Um, old buildings, um, I mean, it, it, old buildings is a big one in the South, for instance, when the cotton industry started to step down. Uh, a lot of the old cotton mills would come down, and we would reclaim some of that. 
Um, maybe old bridges, for instance, that came out. We've taken it out of there. Even old fences. Uh, you, you, we get it wherever we can get it. And, um, and uh, you know, you, some new, new, new uh, sources pop up all the time, sometimes crating from uh, container ships that come from overseas or um, flooring from an old factory that has to be replaced. It's crazy. Wow. Now, who buys it? Cool people. All the cool people, Michael. <laughs> All the cool people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. The cool people buy it. I tell you, I'm on your website right now. <laughs> it's amazing what you so, got. So you know, a lot of our work, a lot of our work goes into uh, retail stores or um, clothing stores or uh, uh, restaurants, um, just to give it a, an extra flavor. Uh, sometimes we use it. The bigger timbers, we actually reuse it in the timber frames themselves. So we'll wow. resaw a timber that was, um, for instance, a 10 by 12 into a 8 by 10 and use it uh, as a fresh-looking piece of wood in a residence, in a home. So it, a lot of people, it depends on what the project is. Uh, really, it's a natural for all sorts of projects, both wow. residential and commercial. Well, I don't think I ever, in, in 1,098 episodes, I don't think I've ever did a show like this, you know, with this type. You know, me being a contractor and build homes and remodeling, and uh, I'm a custom builder, but, I'm, I, you know, I built uh, custom homes and remodeled, you know, remodeling, um, you know, old, uh, old Victorian colonial houses. That was my specialty is taking something uh, from history and, and, and restore it back. Uh, some of my projects will, you know, five, six, ten years. Um, you know, that's what I like. You know, I write. I, I like to. Uh, I like to take something from the grave and just re, re uh, bring it back to history. You know, and uh, and that's what I like. But doing what you do is it's pretty fascinating to me because you're entering a a um, uh, um, a period of wholesomeness, freshness, uh, outdoorsness. It's hard to explain what I'm even trying to say here, but it, it, it you know what I'm trying to focus on and say it's uh, it's really um, really contemporary, but it's got the old, you know, the way, I don't know, in some cases, living in the woods, you know, uh, log you know, homes. I think what you're trying to say, that big timber look yes. kind of reminds us of the trees. And of the trees, so yeah. inside-outside feeling that yeah. automatically goes with it. You know, that sense of structure Jonathan, that Jonathan, you can see yeah, we're out, I probably, We're out of time. I apologize. Got to run. But, hey, I wanted to get that website in. We only got a couple of seconds left. But uh, how can we find find you? NewEnergyWorks.com for the timber framing, PioneerMillWorks.com for the recycled wood. NewEnergyWorks.com and PioneerMillWorks.com. Jonathan, thank you so much, my friend, and I hope uh, one day I can get you down to our studios, our TV studios in New Orleans, and uh, maybe get you uh, participating in our television show. Thank you, Jonathan. All right, got to run. Got another guest, another topic right here. Come on, talk to you and say, y'all come back now, you hear? Yay!